before. We're so glad you're here. Um, I'm going to tell you that um, this may be a bit of a zoo because Mary and I have never done this before. So please just bear with us. I mean, we might be calling on y'all to help us at some point. Um, and right now, I will because we need the auditory plates. If someone could get those for us, we would really appreciate it. And after that, we will confess our sins, which that would have been fun. <laughs> so, any birthdays? <laughs> Jerusalem. Hallelujah. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first reading today is from Genesis 18, 1 through 15. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the oaks of Mamre, and he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. He looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them and bowed down to the ground. He said, My Lord, if I find favor with you, do you not pass by your do not pass by your servant? Let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. Let me bring a little bread that you may refresh yourselves, and after that you may pass on, since you have come to your, your servant. So they said, Do as you have said. And Abraham hastened into the tent to Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of choice flour, knead it, and make cakes. Abraham ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the servant, who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk and the calf that he had prepared and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree while they ate. They said to him, Where is your wife Sarah? And he said, There, in the tent. Then one said, I will surely return to you in due season, and your wife Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent entrance behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in age. It had ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. So Sarah laughed at herself, saying, After I have grown old and my husband is old, shall I have pleasure? The Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Shall I indeed bear a child, not that I am old? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? At the set time I will return to you in due season, and Sarah shall have a son. But Sarah denied, saying, I did not laugh, for she was afraid. He said, Oh, yes, you did laugh. <laughs> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. And now we're going to read together Canticle 9, the first song of Isaiah. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my Savior. Therefore you shall draw water for rejoicing, springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Bring out your joy, and the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. second reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in our hope of sharing the glory of God. And not only that, but we also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us in that, while we still were sinners, Christ died for us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Um, 
Let us read together Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemer, can be found on page 94 of the prayer book or in your bulletin. Let's say this together. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpass us human understanding. Your ways, your ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all the ages, who could command to do the homage and sing the praises of your name? For you are only for the love of the Lord. All nations will draw near and fall down before you. Because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and is now, forever, and ever, and ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask in the Lord of the harvest to send out, I, therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Then Jesus summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to cure every disease and every sickness. These are the names of the twelve apostles. First Simon, also known as Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaan, and Judas Iscariot, the one who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Go nowhere among the Gentiles, and enter no town of the Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. You receive without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts, no bag for your journey, or two tunics or sandals or staff for laborers. Or staff for laborers to serve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out in it who is worthy, and stay there until you leave. As you enter the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me. As a testimony to them, the Gentiles, when they hand you over, do not worry how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name. But the ones who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I tell you, you will not have gone through the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The word of the Lord. And thanks be to God. The homily today is a little bit different because what I'm going to do is ask anyone in the congregation to come up here and do a homily. <laughs>
And um, so I'll do my own homily in that case. But by the way, you're only going to sing the first and last um, parts of the hymns from now on. Okay? I mean, not from now on. I mean, just, just for today. Don't tell what you today. Um, so. I do have something I'd be happy to read as I prepare for next week. So I know this is real neat. Come on. Okay. Man, I didn't think I'd get a taker. <laughs> <laughs> it's a piece of somebody's. It's a piece of somebody's reflection that I read in my life that he thought, hmm, I can work that into my thing next week, but it's better appropriate this week, so I'll read it to you. We need God. We need creative purpose. We need community more than ever. Not because things are going to get worse, although this is a distinct possibility, but because we deserve better than the constant grind of injustice threat and uncertainty. So whatever happens after today, please go to a museum, a botanical garden, a street fair, a play, a library, join a knitting group or a book club or a theater group, write, point, build, draw, quilt, breathe. We need art. We need creative purpose. We need community more than ever. But not because things are going to get worse, although this is a distant possibility, but because we deserve better than the constant grind of injustice, threat, and uncertainty. Yeah, it's true. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep 
people who are in your household, the church, and your steadfast faith and love. Give your grace to go proclaim, proclaim your truth with boldness and minister your justice with compassion. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.
thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking for you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of him. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as many as for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age of the life to come everlasting. Amen. 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 Amen.